I've got my son Lenny in the studio with me. Crawley were the visitors to the race course ground. Wrexham, Wrexham went out 4-1 winners. We are almost there. We can almost touch League One. The Red Army are going up. And you better believe it. And it's all coming up. Reaction and more on this Wrexham. It's the late show. When we win promotion, this is what we sing. We are Wrexham, Super Wrexham, we will win the league. Hey, 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 yo. Up the football, here we go. When we win promotion, this is what we sing. We are Wrexham, Super Wrexham, we will win the league. Wow. Absolutely. Wow, what an introduction. Yeah, listen, honest to God, Wrexham were absolutely unbelievable, weren't they, Len? They were class. Lenny's nodding here. Lenny's just come to sit by his daddy. He wants to be in the show with me. Um, a bit crackly, my headphones, Steve. Um, Rex, but absolutely just dynamite. Dynamite, dynamite, dynamite. Let me get the... Uh, oh, by the way, I'm, uh, if you haven't already, please like, please subscribe. I am your host. I am Sean Winter. This is my son, Lenny Winter. Uh, that's better, Steve. Uh, slight, yeah, a slight crackle. Yeah, here's my son, Lenny Winter. Super Lenny Winter who I'm going to get onto in a bit, because he is absolutely dynamite, just like Charlie. Steve, I'm still crackling here, mate. Yeah, sure. Your mic doesn't sound very good. Can I swap you? Yeah, hang on. Hello? That's better, mate. Uh, hello, hello, hello. That's better, right. Ooh. Um, I'm, I'm still a bit... I'm still a little bit... Um, sorry, I, I'm just I'm just getting to the members here. Steve sent me... Uh, I'm not as organised as what I should be. Are we, Len? Well, we uh, got the um, the red members first. Sorry, the red army. So, so the red army level members. They're the ones I have to shout out every every uh, show. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay, um, Stephen B. So, I have here. Obviously, I know I've got Jay, Stephen Baker, Michael A. Red army level members. Just and I think. Tip my hat. Um, we had a new one, Logan Leroy, join the red army as we started. Ah, class Logan Leroy. And he was supporting us for God knows how long before, wasn't he? He oh was right. always with us, Logan, fair play. Um, just put on a big screen for a minute, uh, Steve, please, 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 Stephen. And these are also Red Army level members, right, Steve? So, various mumblings, Michael, Ian, Sa oh, these are just, just all, you know, just a normal members, yeah? Yeah, these are all I, the I new... I want to shout out everyone, eh? Thank yeah. you very much for becoming the, a member on this show. These are all the new... Starters this yeah, week. Yeah, you're buzzing. Big Gavin Thomas is in there. Vicky G. Who else have we got? Andreas Xman. It is an MC called Xman. He's class. Um, Jade Gow, Zach Trim, uh, Daniel Delgado. What a name, Michael Hillier. Uh, and just yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, Steve, can we get straight into the lineup before I kick on about last night's game? Because it was absolutely. Uh, customary, here we go, guys. Customary, 5 3 2. Right, I'm going to start with a goalkeeper because he deserves. Uh, God, that last minute goal was just a bit gutting for him because he was absolutely just out of this world. After the Conco in the sticks, the way he comes out and collects the ball is just like, listen, don't worry, I'm here, I've got this. Don't worry, I've got this, I'm the governor. Just amazing. The back five, obviously, customary 3 5 2. Uh, 5 3 2. Sorry, spit it out, Sean. We know that. Ryan Barney with his first goal for Wrexham Football Club. Barney, I salute you, brother. Well done, mate. I'm absolutely made up for you, man. I really, really am. Really nice guy as well. Just, he's been playing, he's been playing really good. And he's been arriving at that bat stick, hasn't he? Mega. Maxi Clareworth, O'Connell, O'Connor. Really good. Particularly, i got to say, um, O'Connell and Clareworth again. Uh, I just... They seem to have formed a really, really strong partnership there. Like As I alluded to in the last show, O'Connor just brings that... <whistles> calm it down. I'm here. Don't worry. I've got this, mate. And he just passes it out nice, doesn't he? McLean, just a uh, just engine, man. Absolute engine. Just... Oh, my goodness. He was just at it. But when does he ever let you down? Andy Cannon, George Evans, Elliot Lee, what a midfield three that is. That is just just, um, just an unbelievable three. That is just, come on. Um, Elliot Lee back to his best. I mean, listen, don't, 
I'm not going to go on about the overnight experts and what have you, but, you know, you get the... He, he, giving him a rest was the best thing you could have done, so that was good management, good management by Phil Parkinson, as far as I'm concerned. He needed that rest, and look at him last night, he was just unbelievable. Andy Cannon, class, George Evans, again, very much of the ilk of O'Connor, just <whistles> calm it down, because I'm here... I dictate the tempo with this game. Go back to the thingy, and then obviously we got Ollie Palmer mulling up front. Do you want a drink? Yeah. Don't worry. Get this down your first, son. Yeah. Top man. So, um, last night I <laughs> we, we 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 couldn't make the game. Um, we had tickets, but we <laughs> so we had the end of 11s training first, and I've got to tell you, so the boys watching. My Charlie was ill, so we couldn't put... But the boys watching uh, on the under-11s, what a training session that was. We do an hour and a half, and it kind of went over. It was just mega. My Lenny was there, weren't you, Lens? Yeah. Lenny, um, put it put us on a big screen for a minute, Steve. Lenny joined in with the session. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, he did. He, he was class. He was class. He's a... He's a <laughs> listen, he's not even seven yet, and he's joining in with 11-year-olds, 11, 11 and you look like you were one of them, didn't you? Mega scoring goals. He's just he's dynamite. He's this kid, and uh, we've got hours training tomorrow. We in the sevens, so we can't wait for that. We can't wait. So yeah. So anyway, by the time we got home, you should have seen the state of us. It was so Lenny. How muddy were we? We were so muddy, weren't we? Yeah. We were so muddy. Honestly, it was ridiculous how muddy we were. Top to toe. I'm there doing press ups in the mud with them. We all do it together. We all jump in together. So anyway. Um, by the time, there was no way on earth we were going to make the game. So we we watched it at home. And I tell you what, we just, we enjoyed it, didn't we, son? Yeah. It was just so good. It was so, so good. It was, um, dude, it was just, I thought from the kickoff, Wrexham were unbelievable. Unbelievable. So Ryan Barnett opened to score. Uh, hang on, let me just touch on Crawley first. Crawley would it listen, that's a very good football team come to play football at eh, the race course ground. Um, and credit to them. Credit to Crawley, they really, really, um, they come at us, I'm not sure what the possession stats are, but... Um, it was low for Wrexham. Yeah, it was low. I can see it behind me, you. Oh yeah, you drink, sorry son, sorry, I should have got that. Um, yeah, it was um, It was low, but but no, the thing with that, you've got to work hard without the ball. Teams like that, you ain't always going to dominate possession. You know, it's, let me just open Lenny's drink for him, sorry guys, two seconds. Are you sure? It's difficult. Well, one, I can though. pull up the uh, stats temporarily. Just pull up, yeah, two seconds. Yeah, so a very surprising 33%, but it's Mate, not how much just go on the big screen quick. you get with it. Mate, just put it on big quick. I've only gone and got the flipping drink all down me, haven't I? It's not the first time. What's your dad like, Len? <laughs> <laughs> I've got it all over me. Right. Anyway, Lenny, can you, you can drink that from there. Let Danny have a quick go. I think we released that clip, didn't we, when you poured the water all down you? We've got that blooper. Well, I've gone and done it again. <laughs> anyway, where are we? Where, where, right, so, so, yes. Yeah, you are right now. So, Rex had to work hard without the ball. Uh, 33% possession. But they didn't have meaningful possession. Listen, they did a good side. Very good side. I got a lot of respect for them. I got a lot of respect for the way they came to... A lot of teams will come to the race course ground and they'll, they'll stall. They'll try and set up for a draw. If they get a draw, it's like a win. And I get it. Corley were coming for a draw last night. No, it's a Corley were coming for three points. Credit to them. They've got some tidy players. They work the ball well. They don't mind knocking the ball about under pressure. Yeah, put it down there, son. They don't mind knocking the ball about under pressure. I thought they were. I thought they were a very good team to watch. But I thought that was two footballing teams going at it. That was a very, very good footballing game. That there was two good sides going at it there, and Wrexham managed them. I thought Wrexham managed them incredibly. That they managed them absolutely incredibly. Wrexham were really good. I, I thought the defence was solid. The midfield just nobody switched off there, man. Absolutely nobody switched off. Show everyone what you're having. Hmm? Show tell that camera. See, look, you're having a milky bar, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, absolutely tremendous start. So Barney puts us at the back. I forgot. Oh, it was Elliot Lee. Sorry, Elliot Lee. He's cutting on his right hand side. He just floated a delicious ball. He's floated it across, guys. And um, Ryan Barnett is there, and he deserves a goal. He really does. He's been he's been incredible. He's been incredible. He's been incredible since he came from Solio Moors. He's such a good man. He's a good lad, uh, and I'm buzzing for him. I'm really, really buzzing for him. Um. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Then the ball's gone down the right-hand side again. Who is it Cannon who's whipped it in again? 
Oh, was it Barney for Moles? And he's just bosh. There you go. Pick the bones out of that. Wrexham 2 0 looking comfortable. And I thought, listen, we've got this now. But me and me, you said, didn't we, Len? We were watching, we were buzzing. We were like, don't worry about this. We're Red Army, you've got it. Uh, we go so he goes in 2 0 at half time and Wrexham were very good value for that and I think Crawley fans will I, I did see some of the comments I seen some of the comments um, I seen a, craw a comment from a, cr tr uh, a Crawley fan after the video had been released last week and he said don't, don't think you're going to have your own way we're going to have a right good go at you mate I couldn't agree more you had a right good go and I just thought Wrexham just showed that extra bit of quality there but Crawley a very good football inside and, and I, I respect any football team who plays like that Fair play to him. Fair play to him. They got some good players. Andy Cannon gets on the score sheet again. Well, get, like the, I can, I'm just looking at the chat now. Wow, we've got loads, and I can't wait to get stuck into these comments, guys. I'm really looking forward to these. Uh, what do you think about Andy Cannon, man? For me, Elliot Lee still wins player of the season. Only just, listen, it's on the night. <coughs> we're, we're teetering. We're te aren't we, Len? We're teetering over the edge here, man. We're having a teeter, Lenny. It's <laughs> it could go either way. Who's your who's your who's your man who's your player of the season then? Who do you think? Whisper to uh, the Mullin, it's Mullin. Of course it's Mullin. Well, we love Paul Mullin. Second Elliot Lee. Second Elliot Lee. Well, I tell you what, um for me it's Elliot Lee. I'm I'm gonna touch on Mullin in a minute. I mean I always seem to go on to Mullin, but just he's just he deserves it. And Mullin rounds it off. Oh, we said hi to Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Right, then I need to get into this. So, um, Mullin was just... Um, he's, he's chased the ball down. He's never given up. I knew he was going to get to it, and it's just a clean finish. He's one of the best... I think he's one of the best finishers of a football across all the leagues. I don't... You know. You know. Uh, the, the, uh, my group I'm in, they're going nuts about him today. But then some of them were saying he couldn't do it at the top end of the league one only the other week. So, I think that group's nuts. Paul Mullin can do it in any league, but I tell you what, I, I tell you today he's been running on, he's been running on about sixty-five percent all season. Well, Jesus Christ, he's still doing the bizzle. Class, he was just everywhere last night. You can't, you can, He's a defender's nightmare. That's probably the best game he's played in. I mean, he always plays well, but I thought there was something extra in Paul Mullin last night. He was listen. He's the captain. If you notice when he scored. Kiss the badge on his chest. That gives me goosebumps at it because he's not going anywhere. We love him, don't we, Lenny? Yeah. We love him. He, uh, my, my son absolutely adores him. My son plays up front, Lenny, and you absolutely you model yourself on Paul Mullen, don't you? Yeah. You do. And you score almost. You score, you score more goals than him this season, don't you? Yeah. Good lad. That's my boy. So, um, we, can we get into the chat a qu uh, very quick? But and I'm so, sorry. And obviously, they, yeah. sorry, they scored at the end. Um, I don't think they did. I felt for the defence and I felt for a concord because I just thought I thought they were dynamite and they should have got a clean sheet. But I want to say credit to um, credit to Crawley for coming and playing the way they did. I think they had a very good football team and I kind of got half an eye on them. I, I want them to go up behind the playoffs now after playing like that. I really do. Steve, get into the chat because it's going wild. I love this. Yeah. So uh, we've got a local pundit. I don't know if he's still here. He brought this before the stream, but said um, great three points. Yeah, mega mate. Absolutely. Then he asked, how's it going? But let me know if you're still in, mate, and we'll have a uh, a bit more of a banter. We go really well, thank you very much. We've got our biggest fan, Lexi, in. Good afternoon, everyone. I promise not to hog the chat today. Hi, Lexi. Oh, hog away, hog uh, away. Sean's going to like this one. Uh, we got rerun. It's winter time. It's winter time. It's winter time. I've not heard that one before. I, well, I like it. Are you rerun? Uh, Lexi says, I'm glad to see everyone has already liked the video. Don't have to beat them into it anymore. Today. Yeah, do you know what? If, hey, you were a top performer on the last podcast, uh, Lexi. Brilliant. Isn't this good? The Wrexham community, we're all getting together again. Let's have a look at Lenny's drawing. What have we got? Should we show the camera? What my Lenny's put. Can you see? Daddy, Wrexham, Lenny. we got it all in there. Look at Lenny's signature at the bottom as well. He's my little superstar. You, hey, I tell you what, for when you're older, kiddo, you better get practising that, mate. Keep so going with the chat, so please, Steve. one of our channel members, uh, Zach, in the chat. Hello, uh, Zach, mate. Josh, I don't know if that's a spell mistake. Josh, a lot of guests on your show seem to feel like Parky should be gone after the season. But how on earth does the club justify letting him go after back-to-back -back promotions? Oh, ah, right, right, right. I want to dive into this quick. I haven't wrote it down here. I didn't have time, so... <clears throat> so I'm going to have to get it up. So today, uh, yesterday, that was Parky's 100th win. He has... 
drawn 35 and he's lost 27, something like that. That's, an inc- that's incredible. That man's going nowhere. Got back-to-back promotions. Hang on, back-to-back promotions. If we get it, when we get it, right? He's going to... He knows how to win football games. Am I right? It's, it's, some of the some of the rec, some of the football Wrexham can play is devastating. You seen it last night, right? You don't just play the same way against every team, okay? It, it doesn't happen. We knew they were going to have a lot of the ball last night. I, in fact, I come. I seen Parky's interview after, right? They were going to have. They were all going to have a lot of the ball. The good side, just like when Notts County come here. But we've got to be at it on the press, at it on the break, and we've done it. He's a he's an intelligent, fantastic, phenomenal manager, and he stays at this football club until he retires. For me, you pick the bones out of that, and he does it in League One. I've argued, with, I've argued, listen, I've argued with the lads in the group before. And he can't do it in League One, you know. But some of them were saying at the start of last season, no, he won't be able to do it in this. This, you know, it's just all crap, isn't it? He's a proper football man. He knows his football, and let me tell you right now, he has a challenge in again next season. You got Said um. It. Lexi in the chat again, uh, at the local punder, yes, it was an amazing three points. We've got John Hampton, hello all. Hey, John. Uh, Zach again, um, especially the way the defence has turned around in the last couple of months, Claire Worth is well, a jam. Well, well, I, I, yeah, a it, gem. Yeah, he's a gem, uh, but I've got to tell you right now, I think it's all down to uh, O'Connell. And what I've noticed is his relationship with Maxi Clareworth is absolutely tremendous. I think O'Connell's really come in, um, because Toes hasn't been the Toes we probably know. He, he's been—I tell you what—he's been a bit. He, he's been a bit of a mixed bag from Toes. He's had some great games, but then he's been a bit sloppy as well. But and he'd probably be the first to tell you that. But what I've always noticed about Toes is he marshals the ones around him, and he's very good at it. He's a—he's a Ben Toes is a leader, big one. O'Connell's come in and filled his boots magnificently. He's a leader, and his relationship with Max Clareworth is something. I think I think I seen a little clip last night as well. There, they're good together. They're really good. And Max Clareworth is just becoming. He's becoming a man. He's becoming. I mean, he's, for his, he's always been very mature for his age. Even since he's come that like first season, Parkinson was in. He's always been a very mature, m- mature head on young shoulders. An old head on young shoulders. Sorry. Uh, John Hampton says, I'm not one of those people. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe the park he hates. I, honestly, st- I wish you wouldn't just cut me off when I'm still talking, Stephen. Jesus Christ. So I thought you were finished, but you no, stopped talking. No, gee, honestly, I forgot what I was saying now, guys. Stephen's absolutely... Go on. What do you like, Len? You have to watch that back. He wasn't talking. Um, I was talking. I was just about to say again, something. Once again, Logan Leroy, welcome to the Red Army. Thanks for that again. Ah, um, top man, Logan. Much appreciated. Uh... Lexi, the match yesterday was one of the top matches for me this season. I was worried about the first 20 minutes, but Mullen throwing that temper tantrum and kicking the ball at McLean, getting mouthy. Um, I wasn't worried at all, I've got to tell you, because I'm, I'm, but I know what you mean. N- nerves are jingling a bit, because at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, it was all or nothing last night, wasn't it? So, and, and the way they come out and play, but I didn't think they troubled us too much but I just I we knew didn't we Len we knew the Red Army would win last night didn't we yeah they too busy drawing we knew they'd win last night uh, they were good they were good but I know exactly what you mean yeah no um, oh we're going to go and do it now we're going to go and do it Stephen uh, uh, um, we got lucky though and no early cards or send offs so that's from Lexi yeah, and I'd you don't I'd need coffee Sean Coffee. No, I don't need flipping anything. I tell you what, my uh, <laughs> what, what what I was gonna say is sometimes uh, I hate it when a referee comes to the race and they they'll penalise the early foul or you know I thought the ref was sound last night. You know, uh, you know a good ref when you don't have to talk about him. You know what I mean? You know a bad ref when always when straight away you're talking about the ref after the game and and I don't like doing it. I've got to be honest, but I've got to tell you, a couple of games this season. Um, the ref's been suspect, but last night he was good, I thought. Uh, someone said that I thought that was the best game of the season just then. Am I right in saying it's one of them? We've had some good performances. We've had some good comebacks. Uh, the game against Battle was, you know, we've had some we've had some real, real, real good um, 
Good games at the race course ground this season, but that was the best for a long, long time, is what I'd say. Steve, have we got any more in the chat? Yeah, we got uh, Zach again. In my mind, Parky has earned the trust and the support of the fans. Well, I mean, if, if he hasn't, how hasn't he? Because it's just... what the, the job he's done is absolute... I think it's incredible. I think it's incredible. You know, you can't always play the nice football. I mean, you look at the pitch we played on last week. You can't always play nice football last night. <coughs> Nine times out of ten, next will dominate the football. Or maybe eight times out of ten in this league, but mm. Wrexham will dominate the football, especially at the racecourse ground, we're going to dominate. Two teams that have come here this year where we didn't dominate, the first half was Notts County, but then as soon as we got closer to them in midfield, we sorted them out. Last night, uh, very much the same. Crawley come and they had a lot of the ball, but then Wrexham, Wrexham made their moments count. We pressed them fantastically. We played very intelligent, and we made our opportunities count, is what I'd say to you, Steve. And just continuing on that comment, um, as somebody who had been an American fan, uh, football fan for three decades, it blows my mind when I hear the calls to fire him. Oh God, honestly, it's just, it, it blows my mind. I say it every show, you know. It's just, I don't get it. I don't, I do not get it. I really don't. But listen, he's going nowhere. Do you think Robin Ryan are going to get rid of him? as such a successful manager. Any heck? Why should they? He's going nowhere. Get, get, get him a statue. Get that man a statue, I'm telling you. He'll have a competing again next season. I think he is a credit to Wrexham Football Club. He gets the right players in. He gets the changing room right. He manages the big characters. I just think he's he gets he gets the lads playing for the badge. Um, I just love the man so much. And if he wasn't here and someone else come in and didn't quite do the job and played different football, Parkin, but, um, I was going to say Ben Parkinson. Phil Parkinson knows how to win football matches. John Hampton says, Parky ain't going nowhere. And we've got local pundit, and he says hello. Hello, Josh. You're okay, mate? Yeah, correct. He's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. What questions have I got, Steve? I fancy some questions tonight. Uh, local pundit, hello. Uh, Zach Dock says, legend. Um, another Zach, honestly, I hope not. If coaches get fired on American football for losing three or four games, that would be three or four coaches every couple of years. Yeah, no way to build consistency in a programme like no, that. No, um... Uh, that's a great comment, by the way. That is a fantastic comment because Wrexham are building something here and there's no good chopping and changing it. It doesn't get you nowhere. Look at Man United. It gets them nowhere, man. You don't chop and change. Keep it. We get it right at the top. And a wise man once told me this. It was Lee Fowler. It was Lee Fowler after the Legends game. Was it Lee? I think it was Lee Fowler. You get it right at the top. Or was it correct? Oh, my God. I can't remember. You get it right at the top and it'll filter down. I think it was, I'm, I'm all certainly Fowler said this. You get it right at the top and it'll filter down. We got it right at the top. They get the people to do the football things for them because they don't know the football things and they'll tell you that. We got the right manager. He's in charge of the team. There's no no AR film. There's no, um, oh, what's it called? A football director of football and all that telling him what signings to get. No, Phil Parkinson goes and gets all signings and he hasn't let us down yet. All right, people can question maybe Billy Waters and that. I still think there's a player there, by the way. But, um, the majority of the signings he brings in are fantastic. And I'm in, I'm intrigued to see the signings we're going to bring in this season. Because let me tell you now, we go up. When we go up, if when, yeah, it's when. Um, the signings, we're, it's going to be championship ilk players coming up. It's going to be real quality acquisitions coming into the race course ground, let me tell you. Next question, Steve, and I'll sort of each pen. Yeah, um... Where are we? Zach also says there's only 17 games as opposed to 40. Uh, Lexi Okonku was the man of the match. I felt horrible for him not getting that clean sheet. Yeah, that was a shame. Um, big up the uh, Bluebirds. That's from uh, Zach Doc. That's Cardiff, right? It's son off your book. Get out of it. <laughs> I'm not having that, Zach. Uh, Zach. Oh, that was, uh, yeah, Zach Dark, sorry. We've we got another pen we've for Lenny. We've got a lot of Zachs in tonight. We've got another pen for Lenny, Steve. No, we've only got one Wrexham pen, unfortunately. Well, we did have one Wrexham pen. Um, on. Zach Clareworth is unstoppable right now. Oh, isn't he? Couldn't agree more. Don't get that pen on your son. Yeah, no, um, absolutely on fire. I could not agree more. He as I've said, I've alluded to, he is going to be one day a Wrexham captain. He really is. I think I agree with this uh, next comment as well. Lexi, everyone was just working together so well. It was a phenomenal match. Give me the same vibes as last year's matches. 
good team. Right, it was a good team performance, but then against Colchester was a good team performance because they run their hearts off on each other. And I've got, I've got to tell you, Wrexham fans were incredible last night. From the word go, um, the Wrexham, and when Wrexham fans are on it, Wrexham fans are on it. And I, th- and I think that Reg Spark Ridge Course crowd takes some beating in this league. I really do. And I thought, uh, to a man, the Wrexham fans last night were absolutely incredible, loud. It was just absolutely out of this world noise. And that's what it's all about, to get the boys across the line. I seen in Mullins' interview against Colchester, he doesn't want the fans singing about Wrexham win the way, and I couldn't agree more. What a soft song. Do you know what I mean? Uh, we've got Christian in the uh, chat. Uh, half the Crawley team were five foot nothing. Not really an aerial fl- threat. Oh, not against Big Ol anyway. I thought he won everything last night. Big Ol, I thought he did very, very well. Um, talk about him in a group before. Is he going to be at Wrexham next season? I think he does. I think he just wants to see. I think he'll see out his contract. And I also think, I think we're going to bring in a quality striker. So I think he's going to find appearances maybe harder. Not hard, harder to come by. But then don't don't write off Big Ollie Palmer. Let me tell you. You know he's a he's a very very good Wrexham player, and he has been since the day he arrived. Oh, we've got Alexandra in the chat. Hello, I'm a Wrexham fan from California, Sean. Ah, I, I love that. Wow. I love your passion for the team, the town, and your family. The best commentary video on YouTube. Wow, that is that is big praise indeed. We're happy with that one, aren't we, Lenny? Yeah. Lenny, oh, d- yeah, bless him. You say hi to his pop- Go on the big screen quick so you can say hi to his mum because his mum will be watching. Quick, wait your mummy. Say hi, mum. My little boy, he's mega, isn't he? Well done. Yeah, um, well done, Lenny. Yeah, thank you very much for that for that comment from California. There, that's it means a lot to me, stuff like that. It means an awful lot. Hopefully, Lenny, one day we'll be able to go to California, won't we? Eh? Yeah. Yeah, we want to go to America. So, just popping back to the topics for a sec, when our questions on. build up again. So, this is the uh, table at the moment. Right then, so stop, Paul. Cal- oh God, they are in form. They are becoming unstoppable. They're I thought last night we might have caught some points. But listen, so Stockport County at top uh, on 83 points and they've played 42. Now then, we are, what's that? So it's four points behind and we played a game in hand. We can still win the league. Don't worry, I think we will. So we are, right, Mansfield. So if Mansfield win their game in, if Mansfield win their game in hand, they've got to go and win it first. They're level points with us. So I think basically if... We win Saturday. We beat Forest Green. Mansfield beat MK Dons. I think it's all over. It is now. That's it's almost I, an advantage anyway that happens whether Mansfield wins or MK Dons. Well, yeah, but if Mansfield win, MK Dons have played 43, haven't they, if you can see. So they played 43, they're on 74. They, say they stay on 74. We go up to 79. Uh, we go up to 82. I don't think they, they can't. Men can't. Dons can't catch us then. So, 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 so hang on, I'm gonna sleep. So it'll mean so, so we're, uh, we, we're minimum we finish third. So we're up. Yeah. Are you with me? Barrow can get 82 points if they win all five games, but uh, Wrexham win one game, it's over for them. Uh, yeah, I'm, and and I tell you what, I I've got uh, I got a um, credit to Barrow because I thought there was no way they're gonna stay in the, that that place is flattering them. Because they can't have a big budget or anything like that. Well, credit to them because they're still there. MK Dons were always going to be there or thereabouts. We had them as kind of favourites after the f- when they come and turn us over at the race course, John. Crew Alexandra, we've got. Mm, is that Tuesday? Is that Tuesday? I am not sure. Sh- oh, here we go. It's Saturday. So, this Saturday we have got Rexham versus Forest Green. Buzzing for that one. Uh, we need tickets for that, don't we, Len? Three tickets to get three, three tickets together, me, you and Chicky Chow. Then um we struggle getting the tickets, don't we, lad? Three tickets together, we can never get them. Saturday twentieth of April, we go to Crew Alexandra. Yes. Ooh. And Wrexham takes something there. Wrexham takes something there. And well, we beat Stockport three one. I've I've jumped it, haven't I? So it's fine, we win the league. You know. Yeah, uh, ch- to the chat please, Steve, if you don't mind. Right, let's get back to the chat. Uh, right, where are we? There's so many comments in here today. I love that. Get them all in. Uh, the super chats are the ones we want, aren't it? Because they're the ones that I have to say. I mean, I say most of them anyway, don't I? 
funny about that. Uh, Lexi, four points away, five is preferable, and obviously we'd love to get nine points available with the last three games. And we can well do it, Lex, and we can well do it. Believe, I always, be always believe, always believe. This is what I, this is what I say to my, most fans. This is what I say to my team. Don't I, then? What do I say to you, like an under seven? Believe, always believe, and especially the under elevens, kids. Believe how good we are. We've got uh, Jack in the chat as well. Uh, greetings from Rotterdam, the Netherlands. This I got it, uh, Rotterdam or anywhere, Liverpool oh, or so Rome, cause Rotterdam is anywhere, anywhere alone. Right, every time we get a new member, Sean's got to say anywhere that alone. Yeah, no, that no, was don't, it. Don't actually. Rotterdam. I was thinking of that tune. Yeah, top man. He was in last time. They were in last time with guys from Rotterdam. <coughs> Brilliant. Cause I was thinking, what's that tune? Anyway, uh, Lexi says their goalkeeper was taller than a conku. Was he? Yeah, but all the players. Oh, oh yeah, he was. I tell, I tell you, what, he was. Uh, he, he's meant to be a mega keeper, I and mean, you can see why. I tell you, what, he's good with his feet as well. He knocks the ball out nicely from the back. I thought they were a good side. Kept him busy last night, didn't they? Did that scoreline flatter Wrexham? I don't think it did. I don't think it did. I mean, you know, and that's not to say that Crawley didn't come and have a bad performance. At all he played well in a good side. We just showed how good we are last night. Wrexham showed that killer instinct. Wrexham showed how good we actually are last night. You know, listen, I don't care what team comes to the race course ground. I'll always fancy us. I don't care what... I don't care if they come from the championship. I fancy the race... I, uh, I fancy Wrexham. Uh, Christy McCall, Wrexham got to play through the centre a lot more last night, and it was great. Uh, we couldn't have done that so much or been allowed by the teams this season. Been a side to side a lot lately. Well, uh, there's one thing. I, sorry, the there's, there's, awesome. one, there's one thing I'm going to say about that because yeah, Crawley come to have a bloody good go. They didn't come to like most teams are going to. They're going to set it. They're going to they're chuck the fly in midfield right, and they're going to be tight, and then they're going to let Brexton play. Ha that's why we have to go tight to side wide. We have to play them out of position. That's that's the aim of the game. You play them out of position. You've got to be patient. Whereas last night, Brexton had to be dynamic on the counter because they were going to have a lot of the ball. They were going to see a lot of the ball. They were going to come out next them, so when we got it, we could pick holes in them and we could go at them. It was a different game last night, and I always think those type of games do suit Wrexham. But we, we can win in different types of ways. We can knock it about side to side, be patient, put it to the wing, knock it in the box. Wrexham win is not a one-trick pony. We're not a, we're not a one-trick pony whatsoever. Uh, Don Morgan, Max has been amazing this season. Mate, amazing. I mean, I mean uh, it won't work now, Len, you've, you've bust a bugger. Let me daddy fix it. Um, he's, he's cleaned up on young player of the season, mate. He's, cle he's cleaned up. Oh, uh, we got Christina. I think Cannon might edge Lee out for me, especially if he keeps playing like this. I mean, I wouldn't be upset if he did. I mean, he could go either way. For me, it's just Elliot Lee, I think. I think what, what, I know, what happens in football is people like... So, so say he had a couple of... He, not bad performances whatsoever, but say a couple of performances off the boil... They'll focus on them rather than the 30-odd unbelievable performances he's had. Do you know what I mean? That's just a fickle football fan for you. So, but, and, I mean, Andy Cannon, if you remember, he had a, he had a dicky start to the season. He couldn't get in the team. When he's come back in the team, he's been absolutely unplayable. He's been brilliant. So I'd be very happy he could win either way. I mean, even Paul Mullin. But, you know, this I said in the group, the mark of a good player. I said it, uh, the mark of a good player is when you're not scoring, you're not playing well. Look, look Just look what he does. He could easily win it again. McLean could have a shout. I mean, you know, it's just... They've been phenomenal. Rex have been absolutely phenomenal this season. You know, it's... Um, they're, they're such, this town... Uh, sorry, this football club to this town is such a credit. It's unbelievable. Stephen... And I apologise. I've got a little cold as well tonight, but uh, pa oh. powering through for the show. My, my Charlie, I had Char Charlie got it really bad. Bless him. He's been. Was he? he? Yeah. All he, kids have got he it. Has well. He has been in school the last couple of days, and he even missed bloody football training last night, didn't he? Then it's horrible when the kids got it, isn't it? Yeah, it's horrible, mate. It's horrible. Bless him. Uh, Zach says, even the way the lads were after slightly miss hit passes, and the bobbles were next level yesterday. They were attacking everything. Oh, we oh, oh we went for we, we listen. We were going for it. There wasn't we. we sorry. Right there. Uh, he also says incredible. Rex and we're lucky to have the super parky on the touchline. Yeah, super full parky. Yeah, super full parky. I forgot what the first one that was now, but yeah, for super full parky, mega mate, mega Stevie. Oh yeah, the first one that they were uh, attacking everything last night. Yeah, they were, they were. Uh, but 
You got you got to like in, in football games like that. You got to, you got to be good without the ball. You got to be very good without the ball. But when you've got the ball, you've got the chance to break because they're committed. They've committed men to attack. That leaves holes when we can go at them. And Wrexham can be devastating, devastating in the t- and some of the balls Maxi Clareworth was playing over. Woohoohoo! He's like a prime Steven Gerrard. And also, guys, if you just do me a little favour, get this stream shared. Get the word out. Let everyone know that we are on and we're live. Well, you fixed it well, don't you? I, yeah, I can yeah. see nearly everyone's liked the uh, video as well. Oh, well, that's very nice. Almost and everyone watching. God almighty, the screen's going. That's really good. Yeah, no, no, no. Thank you very much, guys. Really, really appreciate it. That is very, very nice of everybody. Really appreciate it. Yeah, if you could share it, fantastic. Have we got any new members tonight so far? We, hey, we had, lo- uh, we had, we had j- loads j- last week. Just, just Logan Leroy. Now, I'll tell you something about members. Um, I can't remember which guy it was. Someone donated five members, and I think he donated another five members for us. Oh, so I wow. popped on to the, um, the local pundit stream last night. Pundit, local pundit. A pundit. Pundits. <laughs> I'm never good at reading these names out. But, um, yeah, I jumped on his stream, and I repaid the favour. So I donated five uh, members back to his channel. So we're just spreading the love. What? Is that what it was? Josh, to the local pundit, got... Gifted five members. I, I I gifted him five members through this channel. What on his stream? But and he he did it to us. No no no, I did it to them to spread the love because people give us the love on our stream. So I'm repaying oh, that favour like back yeah. out into the world. And that's what it's all about looking after each other. You know, sharing. I re- yeah, I really like that, Steve. That's very nice. That well, it was really nice for us. So just uh, sharing 100%, that love. Oh, a million percent, man. Yeah, and he's a good guy, local pundit, and he puts out a lot of shows. He does, so he puts the work in, man. He was still working. It looks like we've got some comments for him coming up as well. Uh, Lexi says, I think Rob and, Ryan, Rob and Ryan will give Parky next season for sure. He's done too much for the team. I well, never think that was will. in doubt. Go, listen, give, go and give him a two year, give him another two year deal. Give him another two year deal. I don't, don't, I don't, do not doubt that man. No chance. We love Super Phil Parkinson, don't we, Lem? I think they would have given him with that him. promotion. You know, top ten would have been a fair expectation. Not it? top ten, no, no, not with our budget, Steve. No oh, playoffs at least. Uh, your playoffs, you play, yeah, but no. We're, listen, we're going for promotion every time, um, and he's delivering on it. Listen, we've, we've been there, so you know, top ten, no, that wouldn't have been good enough because with that budget and the players we've got. But what Parkinson's been incredibly clever with is when he's bought players when we're in the national league, he's bought with a view to go up to go and do it again. So it's no coincidence that Wrexham have gone and stormed it again because it, he's been planning for this. He's been planning for us to Fort go ahead. up. Yeah, he's far ahead, Steve. Then he's planned for us to go and do it again. You know, everyone he's brought in has been from leagues above, bar from Ryan Barnett, but he can be... Um, sorry, I'm Mendy, but he can, pl- be, he can be playing above. You know, it's, so it's... Um, no, he's he's an astute, clever manager and I, and I absolutely love him. Um, yeah, long may he continue. Uh, Christina Luckfield says, yes, people don't talk enough about EOC uh, enough. He was pivotal in turning the defence around. Andy O'Connor was mega, mate. Andy, uh, sorry, Andy O'Connor, what am I on about? Um, EOC, who's that? Uh, Owen O'Connell. Andy ah. O'Connor. Owen O'Connor. Yeah, no, oh, he has been absolutely unbelievable. And I thought last night, again, superstar defensive performance is what I thought. I thought he was absolutely good he's calm on the ball he brings a composure to it you know i mean i mean you see him he'll walk out with the ball and he's got the ability to chop you right in half and he'll and he did it last night he's a he's a terrific defender and uh, i'm very happy we've got him in a rex shirt and i think you'll see him in a rex shirt for a couple of years to come we've got uh logan leroy a uh, red army member Forest Green would go are going to be desperate for the three points on Saturday. Oh, they're gonna listen. They're, they're, of course they are. There's no easy games. I think um, I saw Parky, um, Steve Parkinson, the, uh, the, the assistant manager, coach, and um, and he was saying, listen, oh, someone's got something to play for. Teams are either fighting for their lives, they're going for the playoffs, like us, they're at the top end of the table fighting for the awesome artists. They're fighting for their lives. <laughs> now, how many times have you seen in FA Cup games gone by? Uh, teams like that, when they we got something to play for, overturn the biggest side. Well, that you know, don't be under any illusion that that's kind of what they're going to be coming for. Do I believe we'll beat them? Yes, comfortably. I don't think there's any stopping this Wrexham train right now. But let's just get the three points on Saturday, and let's just put the cat right amongst the pigeons. Let's look forward 
do some league fo- League One football when a past five comes on Saturday. So just continuing that comment, there's a bit of a question here. They should be primed to score against us on the counter attack. What's that, sorry? A uh, bit of a question in uh, Logan Leroy's uh, comment there. That it should be primed to score against us on the counter attack. Well, that, that I mean, that's Wrexham. Re- <laughs> listen, Wrexham. I reckon Wrexham have sixty percent possession on um, on so certainly the top fifties anyway. So it, it, that's what they they ain't gonna come and dominate the ball. I guarantee you that, mate. Absolutely guarantee you that they ain't gonna dominate the ball. They ain't gonna have the possession in our half. So they are gonna be playing for the counter attack. They played like that on when they when they drew with us at Forest Green. So that's the way they're gonna be playing. Is that an absolute certainty? I'll step my house on it, man. So last bit of that question: Or do you think they'll park a double decker in front of the box? Well, that's what it's gonna be. Yeah, th- th- listen, they're, they're gonna come for straight wrecks, and they're gonna try and turn the crowd early. You know, they'll, they'll be I. I haven't got a crystal ball, but I can kind of tell you they'll be rolling around when they have to. They'll be wasting time. They'll be slowing the game right down. And they're just going to hope to get us on a break. That is... I've been wrong in the past, but I'm almost certain I'm not wrong this time. Uh, Don Morgan says, Max will only get better. The sky is the limit. Yeah, uh, Max... Uh, was that... Sorry, Dom, sorry. Dom, I, com- I, could, I could not agree more with you, mate. The, um, careful, then. He's only going to get better, buddy. He's only going to get better. There's only one way he's going, mate. And like, like I said, he's he's a championship player. Go, mate. John Hampton says Sean is pre-caffeinated. What does that mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. God, I don't <laughs> need it, do I? I'm just does he's yawning and read that out. I know, yeah. Just uh, We've had a busy day, haven't we, Len? What? You all right there, son? So local you pundit or pundit? Local pundit. Pundit. Bloody pundit. I thought that's what I'm saying. Just read it. What did I say? Pinned it. Um, yesterday was the m- like? my most favourite game. The lads showed up, concentrated about AO, not kicking the ball. Yeah. Concerned about AO. I don't. I don't like these bloody initials. Um, AO. Who's AO now? Uh, oh, is that the goalie? Oh, Arthur Conkle, yeah, sorry, I, I, I'm getting lost with these initials. I need to write them all oh, down. Oh, me, he, me. He, I, I, Arthur Conkle, sorry. Um, oh, yeah, he was. V- he's very cool, calm, collected. He's um, he's a very safe pair of hands, you know. He's a very safe pair of hands. And he's so good at coming to claim a cl- uh, coming to cl- coming to claim a cross. He's very, very good. He just seems to just glide through the air, doesn't he? He goes up like a hot air balloon and he comes down like a salmon. But it's brilliant, honestly. It's just... Um, yeah, mega, mega goalkeeper. And let's hope we can keep him next year, guys, because he's going to be very Im- important. I hope Arsenal don't want him back, but I think they're going to. Uh, Don Morgan says, back-to-back promotions. How could you possibly think uh, someone else could do any better? Precisely. Precisely, Dom. I'm right we're there with you, brother. That, I'm right there with you, man. Uh, Christian says, Sean, it's highly likely us, Stockport and Mansfield, are going up. Who do you reckon through the playoffs, crew for me, uh, just have a local rival for next season? Crawley. I, I hope it's Crawley. I really want Crawley to go and do it. Just because of the positive way they play football. I really, really want them. But, but then crew can play some nice stuff. Crew can, crew can play some nice stuff, but nah, we had a season playing crew. Grounds are dumped. Seen a bit. We'll, uh, you stay down here, lads. All right. We'll go make it with the big boys again. Do so you reckon they'll outdo MK Dons then? Rex, hey, Rex are back now. Crawley, I, I, listen, they be right. Let's let's have a Crawley Tam. So MK Dons, I think I, I I'm gonna go Crawley. I am. I was impressed with them last night. I've been impressed with them last night. And if they play playoffs away from home, they're not bothered because their away forms are astonishing. So and, and I'm rooting for Crawley after after last night. I really am. But then Bano, you know, I I, I kind of got soft because they they try and they try and play football. Do you know what? They're all good sides in there. But I'm gonna go with Crawley now. Okie dokie, let's get back to the uh, chat. Lexi, it's when we go up, Sean. Correct. Isn't it, Len? When we go up. <laughs> when are we? Uh, CLJ when are we? says, when are we? do you reckon Jack Mariner will ever score? Jack Marriott. Yes, I do think he'll score, and I think he's a very good player there. I think he's suffering with his confidence big time, I really do. But he's a, look at him when he comes on, he's a live wire. I mean, how can you not like that player? Just... Just because a striker doesn't score straight away, come on, we're better. Listen, he's he's a he's a very good football player. I think he I think he's 
we have him next season? 100%. I really like him. I really like him. You get him in form, and you're going to see a different Jack Manny. It's just not falling for him at the moment. That is football. So many I've seen so many strikers do it. You see so many strikers do it. You know, um, hopefully I can get an ex-pro on here, just talk about it a bit. And, you know, they'll tell you, it, football, it's a confidence game. You know, and sometimes when it's, you're not getting the rubber to green, and it can't be easy being second fiddle to, uh, to Mullen, Mullen, who's such an important striker. So, you know, I mean, Ollie Palmer's not scored. When was the last time Ollie Palmer scored? I couldn't tell you. But no one really no one really seems to pick up on it as much. But he does a lot more for the... Doesn't bother me, all because of what he does. He brings to the team, so, you know, there's a lot more to marry it than that. Uh, yeah. Barry says, let's go Wrexham for the second league trophy. Oh, you better believe it. We're going to go again, aren't we, Len? Yeah. Yeah, see, Lenny knows. Lenny knows a crack. Don't you, Len? We're going to go up again. Yeah, we're going to go up. You want to say hello to your school friends watching? Mm -hmm. say, say hello to Kino and the team. No. We'll say hello. Hey, guys. <laughs> uh, the, the, the. Lexi, I love listening to the matches and the enthusiasm of the fans from the bleachers. The bleachers? Oh, is that that's it's a like stand an American that. term? Yeah, stand that, isn't it? Yeah, for like, I really want to go to America. I do. One day, Lenny, we're going to go to America, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we're dying to go. <laughs> One day, when Daddy got some money in his pocket, we'll go. You know, when Hollywood finally comes calling for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don says, I'm curious what you think about the future of the club w for Jordan Davis. I love the kid, but he hasn't been getting much time. If we go up. We may be one. He may be one that goes. Mm, Jordan Davis can play a higher level, no problem. I promise you. I can, he can play. Jordan Davis is a bit of a luxury player, is what I'd say. Don't, don't doubt. I mean, last night he looked sharp. He does. Uh, sometimes he looks a bit lethargic when he comes on a rookie, but last night he looked sharp. Jordan Davis can play in League One, no problem. No problem. Anyone who knows their football will tell you that. Oh, we've got a new subscriber. Rob Ingram, yeah. Top man to subscribe. Top man, mate. Um. What was I saying? John Davis. John Davis plays in League One, no problem. In a different system, John Davis is one of the first on the team sheet. I'm telling you now, don't write that guy off. No problem. He's got the ability to go and do it. Give him a sorry, Steve. Give him a run of games. He is a fantastic player, and he goes up. He goes up. He can, he can go into League One quite comfortably, mate. Quite comfortably. Uh, Lexi, the points I listed earlier are based on us getting the auto promotion versus being number one in the league. Uh, I also base it on MK Don's winning every game. Yeah. Len, stop doing that. Uh, JB65, Sean, don't quit your day job, laugh out loud. I know, mate, yeah. <laughs> There's no chance of that, mate, I wish. Yeah, long way off that. Um, KOKDef says, why are some fans critical of PP? All of the town only wanted a promotion. Now that they're going to be promoted twice in two years, they sound like um, like cancel culture Americans. And it's I'm not an, an American. It's astonishing, isn't it? It's astonishing. Hang on, then. It's absolutely astonishing, mate. Um, you know, they're not, I mean, listen, the, the same bloody idiots who were, who were calling for him out the other week, they'll be singing his name on... So it's just... Get out of it. Listen, we waited a long time to have a manager, a team, owners, a setup like we've got at the moment. I don't like it. Um, one thing I will say is people seem to be getting banned left, right and centre from the football club for um, for silly things. Uh, I, I alluded to last week, didn't I? I know it's a bit of a, you know, someone calling someone an English and he got banned from the football club. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. So I think we need to sort that out. Remember, it is working class people going to a football match but the setup the manager everything at this football club at the moment is just absolutely out of this world and it's um yeah listen we're lucky Wrexham are a very very lucky football club and a very lucky town at the moment uh Craig Solo says hi Sean and Steve second in the table and assured of a playoff uh place at least we need a maximum of five points from our remaining three games uh, for the top three finish, regardless of how the others fare. We don't worry, mate. We're going to um, we're going to win the league. And um, Stockport nearly drew last night, didn't they? They got the goal later on. Yeah, this is tough. It's tough. They got to come to base course ground. It's 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 one of them. But um, we're going to win, aren't we, Len? 
Yeah. Uh, Craig Solo says. says, when are you guys going to get some guests on? Um, Whenever, really. If someone wants to come on, come on. You know what I mean? I'm just, listen, I'm a very busy man. Rather than, I knock text, I've asked Craig that a couple of times, but I always ask him too late. I can't be asked, like, Tommy, Tommy will come on. Um, but I'm a busy man. I work, work, coach kids, you know, we don't stop, so. Um, but whenever someone wants to come on, come on, it's, you know. But it's hard. I have got I have got an ex Rexham player coming on for a special one, but that's going to be in a month or so time. Um, and that's a different type of podcast, that. Um, but I will put in a group and, sh- you know, I think I could probably get Mark McGregor. I could probably get, you know, Ben O. Connolly, maybe. Well, I'd love Connolly on here, but I don't think he'd come on. But Let's we'll yeah. try and get someone on for the promotion stream. Yeah. Because it's um, coming. Oh, it's coming, all right. Listen, if anyone wants to come on, come on on. You know, I'm sick of asking people, mate. I'm, uh, I'm kind of like... You know, I've asked people loads of times, oh, yeah, I'll do it this way, I'll do it, and I just, like, I can't, I, listen, I've got things to do. So if you want to come on, come on by all means, but I can't be asked chasing people is what I'd say. Right, uh, Craig, so oh, we read that one. Uh, Gav Thomas is in the uh, chat, now a <gasps> member. I w- yeah, he is. What does his free quick get him, he said, Gav? A- hey, a- I, hey, and big Gavin, he's not so big no more. His pants are falling down. He's lost 17 kilograms this week. KG, that is key grams, isn't it? No, you get a, a football, a badge. I need to do a little thing of what you get. Steve, you get you've not answered uh, the question there. I said 17 kilograms. KG is kilograms, isn't it? KG, yeah. Yeah, well, Big Gav's lost 17 in the buggers this week. So, well done to Gavin. Proud wow. of you, mate. Yeah, very proud of you, mate. All see this week. But that's two weeks. So, uh, love Big Gav, don't we, Lem? Anyway, yeah. back to his question, what he gets. Uh, you get a little badge by your name. And that obviously goes up over time. With loyalty, and you're just supporting the show, really. It's just a little fun way to support the show. Plus, you get yeah. the um, the shout-out, and we'll uh, get any of... If you write questions before the show, I notice them, I'll pull them up on the show as well. Yeah, no, and we and we listen, every single member, it's just it's appreciated because, as I always say, we want to take this show somewhere. We want to make something of it. So, you know, and, and you guys are really helping with it. Uh, Christina... Happy Ben Foster Day. By the way, gents, uh, how to get back to work? Have the best one. Yeah, thank you for um, thank you for thank you for listening, guys. I, I really do appreciate it. Yeah, Ben Foster Day. It was a year today since that save, wasn't it? That save, mega. Never forgot that. Tears in my eyes, man. Tears in my eyes. That was just um, very very special. Maybe. Oh God, I've had loads of special days watching Rexon, but that was up there. Uh, Craig Solo has a question for you, Sean. Do you think Charlie Savage will join the team next season? I think he'll make a good addition. Wrexham, yeah, he's a good, good player, Charlie Savage. Very good player. Um, I'd like to see him in a Wrexham shirt, yeah. Yeah, very good player. Yeah, he's a lovely footballer, Charlie Savage. I'd love to see him in a Wrexham shirt, mate. But that'd be good. Yeah, and his d- I, I knew his granddad, um, Colin. Uh, obviously, you know, Robbie, so, well, he used to play for the Queen's Egg. Colin was there, li- lived in the same state as my mum. Very nice family, lovely. A uh, local pundit says any time, and Lexi says Jack Mariner has Marriott. Had, I was going to say that. Um, Jack Marriott hasn't had a lot of time on the field, to be fair. No, no, exactly, yeah, and that's right, that Steve. No, he hasn't had a lot of time on the field at all, and uh, but he will come into his own. Do you do I said not it worry. correct in my head before I was going to read. Out um, and I stole, well, do you know how, you do that? how many times did I stole the Twitter ones, mate? Don't worry about that. That's all right. Sean's bloopers coming out soon. <laughs> yeah, God, I tell you what, I told you I was. Be, I could, could make some money off that. I like, could. That could be no, a Christmas DVD. We haven't got a great deal of content for the Red Army members at the moment. Usually they used to get the video 24 hours early, but we're live, so we can't do that. So I was thinking, as a special present to the Red Army level, I'm going to put a video of all Sean's bloopers together, and that'll be a Red <laughs> Army access only for the first month or so. So uh, do you know what? That'll be good for my kids to see that. Now you'll be you'll j- laugh at just that, something you? fun, <laughs> you know, to give you a reward back um, for the support. Daddy messing up on the camera and then all in the thingy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got We've done that loads of times. <laughs> That'd be good, that, Steve. What's that? Uh, Ruby Slippers. How do you pronounce Ruby with a W? Is it Red beginning? Ruby Slippers or something like that? I, I, um, I think it's a anyway, I Ruby remember, Slippers. A uh, great match yesterday. Had trouble sleeping even hours later and from still being so happy. Yeah, I, I was just saying, well, I had this little git in, uh, in bed next to me and then he was out. So what we like to do, Len, don't we? What were we listening to last night? Paddington, weren't we? 
Yeah, we listened to Pal- we listened to our audio books. We had Paddington on last night, uh, and I was just you know I was just refreshing the Twitter page after that. So I wanted Parkinson's interview to come out. Um, he was just no, I couldn't sleep either. I I couldn't g- couldn't get to sleep, and then um, I woke up this morning like the tin man after doing that session with the under 11s last yesterday. But the um, I was in a right mess. I'm so unfit. It's flipping shambles. Uh, Kim says Marriott has only played 300 minutes. Well, they are. And listen, I mean, what I like is the effort when he when it's not going for you, the effort. I've seen plenty of strikers come to the race course ground, come to Wrexham, um, and it's not going for them, and they're kicking the ground, and they're not, you know, they're whinging, blah, blah, blah. Well, he's not doing that, and he won't do that, and he'll, continue, you know, he's a threat, and I really like him as a football player. I really, really like him. Gavin Thomas says, Arthur Conco is apparently being released by Arsenal at the end of the season. Think he'll go to the championship, though, unfortunately. Mm, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, if if he gets released by Arsenal, I think he comes to Wrexham. I honestly do for the journey. I think he comes because we, we'll be right up there again. Honestly, if if Arsenal, I think he comes, but he's coming on big money. And rightly so. He, he, he commands big money. You know, just sit there, darling. Uh, Zach says, when you're in League One, a Conco will sign with Wrexham. Yeah, I think so. I think I think he... Listen, if Arsenal, he will come to Wrexham, I do... But you got to be willing to flip and pay his wages. But, but is he worth them? Yes. You know, Rob and Ryan you know they, it's getting time now where they've got to, you know, everything goes up and they, they know this. Listen, this is what they're planned for. So, you know, it's it's big money time. You've tied Elliot Lee and Mullin down to three years each. You know, it's big money time now, man. Uh, Cooper says, hello from Georgia, USA. And um, Kim says uh, Jordan Davis might be gone. Mm, yeah. Well, when does his contract run out? Uh, out of curiosity, when does his contract run out? I'm going to put a poll up as well when you're reading the next uh, thingy. And uh, Ruby Slippers says, love a good blooper reel. And <laughs> oh Christ, this will be extensive, mate. Honestly, you've never. Ruby Slip says yes from Kansas. Ruby is pronounced Ruby. Ah, oh, from Kansas, buzzing with that. Yeah, well, thank you, Ruby. Cheers for um, thank you for listening from Kansas in America. Is it Kansas? In America? Yeah, Kansas City, America. Yeah, good, isn't it? America. America. Yeah, I know it's mad, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it just good just to see your dad. Um, yeah, no. Uh, no, thank you very much. We do we appreciate it, don't we, Lenny? Yeah. We appreciate everyone coming listening from America, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, we do. We do. One day, son, isn't it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually doing pre-season in America again. Uh, no idea yet. I'm sure they are. But I'm, I'm sure the news headlines will come out and we'll, uh, well, we've, to talk we've about got our holidays between. look forward to, haven't we, son? Yeah. Uh, Lexi's bins up a good point here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, everyone. And yeah. join us as a member if you can. Yeah, but that'd be very nice. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Very, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. That um, that means a lot. So yeah, thank you very much. What what are you doing here now, Stephen? I'm a bit concerned. What's going on? You look. You've got a devilish look in your eye again, Stephen. Stephen, I'm just releasing a poll. What's a poll? When people can vote. So it's will Wrexham go up? Yes, no, maybe. Oh. 100% yes so far. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be will Wrexham go up? Yes. Uh, we'll come back to that in a bit. Yes, 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 yes. I was yes. going to ask as well, I'll try and do it on the next poll next time, how many are tuning in from the UK and how many from outside the UK? Yeah, I am I am um, very curious to know. I just, I think it's just absolutely sensational I do it. Just, you know, I was thinking, I'll tell you what I was thinking now, Steve. When, um... We were talking uh, last week uh, yeah. about the Wrexham community, and, and we were saying, you know, without Rob and Ryan, it never would have happened, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, I was thinking, God, years ago, when I'm watching, uh, I'm sat in the mold road with the lads, or I'm sat in the tech with Gav, like, me having, a, us doing a show like this, and it's just, it's bonkers how far this club's come. And I think, I think people need to realise sometimes that we're in this fantastic position, and it's become very comfortable. It's become the norm now, isn't it? But what I say to fans is, don't forget the grind we've had to get here. Don't forget the hard work. Don't forget the crap we've had to watch. You know, it's just 
always remember that where we are, we're very fortunate to be. I'd say that. How long have we been going here now, Stevie boy? The show? Yeah, an hour. Oh, I thought you meant years then. No, 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 no. Uh, we started at uh, half past seven. It's half past eight. Yeah, so you can wrap it soon, can't we? So I get this, this lad Rap to bed here. Ten minutes or less. Yeah, no, that's um, fine, that's fine. Yeah, Kim says Davis is signed till June 2025. Yeah, well, listen, he, he can do the business in League One. He can do the business in League One. I've got that. There's no doubt. He's a bit of a... He's not going to put the shift in like the rest of the lads, which I don't really like. But he's a very, very good footballer. He's Jordan Davis is a fantastic footballer. Uh, he's got a fantastic left peg and... Oh, Cooper's become a member. Clipper Claremont. Claremont. Oh, cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. But going back to Jordan Davis, yeah, uh, um, <laughs> he's a very good footballer. Dude, honestly, he's a good footballer. He can play. He can play in League One. Not, not, look out of place. No problem, mate. Very good player. Ruby Slip says, "Sorry, meant summer tour, not official preseason." Is that the um, Wrexham? Obviously, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ruby Slippers, how are both of you going to celebrate when Rex can go out? We do need to oh, do mate, something different, I, don't we? You, um, I just, I, it, it comes off the cuff to me, so I couldn't tell you. I haven't got a clue. We, we had the non alcoholic champers last time, didn't we? So yeah. We some of them in. Yeah, non alcoholic champers last time. Although, <laughs> although, let me tell you, I did indulge in an alcoholic one. I, we were out with the players in the end on the uh, on the Sunday, and that was pretty good. I, d I, d I can't be honest. I, d I didn't take it in. I didn't take it in until the Sunday. It was just um, on the day when we went out. I didn't. I didn't really take it up. And I was thinking this before. I've before I've come here tonight. Um, last season meant meant so much. It meant it meant everything last season. And listen, it means everything to get back to where we were. So yeah, it'll be special. It'll be special. But how are we going to celebrate? I haven't got a clue. You never know with me, do you? I mean, there's no way Wrexham can win this week and some of the others lose and it's a guaranteed promotion. There's no way that can happen, is there? I just I, want I the actual game when you know it's definite. I, f I think it can be Saturday. If we if we win Saturday and Mansfield beat MK Dons, I think we're up, mate. I'll have to look. Because I'm wondering, if I work that out and that could be the situation, do you think everyone's going to storm the field again? Well, I will be. <laughs> I, now, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't stream that night because, obviously... Sean's a big fan. He's going to want to experience the celebration. Things with his, have got uh, tits up with his friends and that. So I wouldn't be surprised if we don't stream till the next day when that does happen as well. well it will be a good one. Let's play it by ear. Yeah, let's play it by ear. Oh well, Steve, it'll be excellent. Well, you, but they're all excellent. When uh, Stephen Baker's in the house, they're all but the excellent, my friend. Um, Jacob says Chelsea on the 29th of June in the US. Ah, of course it is. I've bloody seen that. Yeah, well, 29th of June. Go. When do we we go on the eleventh? We go to Spain on the eleventh, and we come back on the twenty. F twenty. So, so we're back. So ooh, you never know. Well, well I do know. I'm skinned. Uh, Gat, about? Gat Thomas says, um, "Yeah, Chelsea again." So I uh, Chelsea, Chelsea. Uh, Kim, will Wrexham get first? And who cares? Yeah, I think I think Wrexham will get first. I then think his stockport could lose one or two or draw. I, I think it's a good I shot in there. I still think we're gonna win it. I really wish they would have got that draw. I was praying yeah, for that. Yeah, I, half I was. But there you go. That's football, mate. That is football. It just closed the gap so much when they were drawing on the table. Yeah, no, I know. I, to be honest, I was looking at it. Me and Lenny were, and we ordered a sneaky kebab last night, didn't we? Yeah. So the local <laughs> pundit says, "I'll be at the Chelsea versus Wrexham game." Lucky duck. What do we need to do to get you out there, Sean? Oh, mate, I'd love to get out there. Oh, my God. Imagine f doing some filming over there. I'd love, mate, I'd love that. I'm sending you and you on. You can film it on your phone and I'll edit yeah, it. Yeah, mate, that'd be unbelievable. I'll, I'll pay for you to go and then um, I'll mate, just edit do it. it. Do it. Watch me go. <laughs> oh, God, that'd be unbelievable. Go get day. into the Wrexham match first. <laughs> I'll be there one day. I'll be there one day. Have you got tickets for Stockport yet? No, but I'm sure someone will help me out. Even tag me if you see him. I'll buy him for him. I just need him at that game. I'll be at the game. Hopefully, um, I'll be at the game. I'll be, at, I'll be at the game. I mean, even if I can only get one, but I mean, I won't flee, but that it doesn't really happen these days, unfortunately. We can never go together. Can we, me, you, and Charlie? Yeah. Ruby Slip says, I'll be at the Chelsea match on the 24th. I'll Buzzing, have Ruby. to stream the TST in the North California in June. Yeah. Carolina, sorry. 
North Carolina. North Carolina, brilliant. Love it, love it. Uh, Lexi says, no, we still need four points. See, I thought it was four points as well, a win and a draw, and I think that's it. Right, it's okay. locked in. Okie dokie, okay. So not this Saturday, but the Saturday after, everyone could be rushing that field. It happened. Um, Kim's got a good idea. Sell a kidney, Sean. No, I need these for when Gav needs one. One day, Gav's, Gav's going to pack up on him, so I'll, I'm going to have to give him one. So I, I can't, I can't, I, I just can't got that luxury. Now, back to the poll we put up. It doesn't, 16 votes on this, actually. Yes, 94%. Maybe 6% for going up. Oh, well. So 6% of people believe there's a chance we don't go up at all. Steve, I'm going to have to go to your bed. I'm knackered here. All right, guys, thanks for all the uh, comments. I think we're going to wrap it up Yeah, I re there. really appreciate it. And we're back Saturday. Oh, hey, St Steve, Saturday's show was, could have been an absolute bloody, you know. We're laughing now, aren't we? I mean, we win Saturday. Ooh, I tell you what, Saturday's going to be a really good show, Steve. Do you know what I'm really looking forward to? Steve, what time are we starting on Saturday? All right, let's have a look at the fixtures on here. So Saturday it's three o'clock kickoff, mate. Fixtures. Three o'clock kickoff. Half six we did last week. And it's on a Saturday. I finish with the boys at five. I think we could do six thirty. That shouldn't be a problem. Is that right for you? That's absolutely brilliant, mate. And I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait to interact with everyone again. Let's go and finish this flipping job off. I need to get home and get this lad to bed. Um, but brilliant. Thank you so much. Say thank you to everyone, then. Thank you. Ah, winner, mate. Winner, mate. Brilliant. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for listening. <laughs>